Hey everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to the channel. So it's been a while since I last uploaded, but I'm excited to start making content for Shopify development again. I'm really grateful for all the comments and support I got on my first videos because that really helped make the decision to start this up again. So thank you. In the past while, there have been quite a few updates and changes to the development process and tooling. So I decided it would be best to redo my first videos and start fresh with the most up-to-date tools. So today will be a quick video on how to get your environment set up, your stores and accounts created, and set up a brand new Shopify app using the official CLI version three. Now I'm gonna assume that you have at least a basic level of understanding and experience with web development, JavaScript, React, or at the very least, some programming experience. Shopify app development builds on top of these concepts since at the end of the day, it's just an app. So if you are a complete beginner with no coding experience, it's gonna be difficult and I'd recommend getting the basics down before diving in. And since this is a Node React app, you will want Node, of course, installed. Um, you can go to nodejs.org to get that. And then I will be using VS Code as my code editor. So you can use whichever one you like, but that's what you will see me using. The first thing we'll go over is just how Shopify apps work in general. There are two main types of apps, embedded and non-embedded or standalone apps. Embedded apps are more common and likely what you'll be building. And these are apps that are displayed directly in the Shopify admin through an iframe. Standalone apps are just web apps that don't open in the admin at all. And the user is redirected to your app when they open it. We're gonna be talking through and setting up an embedded app today. If you wanna dive deeper into the structure of an app and how all that works um, on a deeper level, there are some really great resources that I'll link in the description below. But today we're just gonna focus on getting set up. Before we create an app, we need to get our partner account set up. Go to shopify.com slash partners and click join now. After you fill out the form on that page, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Go ahead and click on stores in the sidebar, then click add store. Select development store, add a unique store name, and fill out the rest of the info, then click save. Another thing you wanna get set up before we start is an ng-rock account. ng-rock is a tunneling software that allows you to take something running on your local computer and make it accessible through the internet. Since Shopify requires a secure connection in order to make requests and talk with their systems, we need to set this up before we can start the app. This is really simple. Just go to ngrock.com, sign up, click download, and follow these instructions to get it set up. You'll need your auth token in a minute, so keep that handy. Next, we'll head on over to the Shopify dev site at shopify.dev, and there's a link in the description that will take you directly to this getting started page that we're gonna go through. And we'll just follow these steps to get the app created. Go ahead and open your terminal, navigate to the directory where you want your project to live, and run this command npm init at shopify slash app at latest. Previously with the CLI version two, you had to install a global Shopify CLI and create projects that way. Um, with this, you don't need to do that. It'll be installed along with all the other dependencies for your project. Once your app is created, CD into that new directory, then you can start up the server by running npm run dev. The CLI will walk you through a few steps like logging into your Shopify partner account, creating an app in the dashboard, and storing that auth token that we looked at a few minutes ago. If it asks you if you wanna have Shopify automatically update your app's URL, then go ahead and select always by default. All right, so now we have our app running locally on a server. Uh, we have our development store created. So now we can install the app on your development store. If you scroll up in the terminal a little bit, you'll see that it actually gives you a URL that you can go to to install the app on your development store. You'll see a screen like this to install it on your store. Click install app. And voila, you have your app on your development store. The app that's created from the template is one that actually populates products for your development store. So you can test that out, see how the functionality works. And just to verify that this is the app that's running on our server, if you go into the web folder, then into front end, then into pages, and click on index.jsx, you'll see that this is that page that's rendered right there on the home screen of the app. You can come in here, adjust the code, you know, change the heading to, to something else. Uh, when you save, the app will hot reload and you can see those changes in real time. So there we go. We've got our environment set up. We have our partner account, a store created, and we have an app created locally that we are now able to go in and make changes and start building out our app. In the upcoming videos, I'm gonna do a series where we go through and build out a, a simple test app together. Um, we'll go through the app structure, 
um, how to understand what's happening in the server um, using Shopify Polaris, going over App Bridge using the REST API, the GraphQL API. So there's a lot in the pipeline. I really recommend subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And if you have any questions about anything I've gone over today or just anything in general, go ahead and put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. You can also find me on Twitter at devwithalex. I'm really active on there. So if you shoot me a DM, I'd be happy to talk with you. I'd also recommend joining the Shopify devs discord if you haven't already. There's a lot of great people in there, a lot of experts with much, much more experience than I have. So um, that's a great place to go to get answers as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.